Hey everyone, what's up? It's the, uh, the 14th of, of October today, it's a Friday, so happy Friday and uh, have a great weekend uh, before we start. And we've had a big red day today and we started off really well. We got a, a couple of thousand up. Then we traded, uh, well, we, we chased momentum. We, we got on a YOLO play. Uh, so uh, Shift Pixie was the uh, was the YOLO play. What I mean by YOLO play is uh, uh, we got on one that uh, on a stock that moved up really, really big. Uh, uh, and it, it moved up big, but the problem was the volume wasn't huge and the spreads were horrendous. Uh, so it, it, at one stage, the spreads were like a dollar fifty. Go figure. I mean, it was a fifteen dollar stock, and the spreads were were a dollar fifty. So it was like ten percent spreads, which not ideal. But the way that it was moving up, multiple halts uh, to the upside. The way that it moved up, um, it uh, it looked like it was potentially uh, big gains to be had, but it was big risk. Uh, and sometimes you, you, you go in for your low play and it doesn't go your way. You've just got to be able to take the big hit as well. So that's what I've got to do today. It uh, not only does it uh, mean that we finished the day a little over 18,000 down on the, on the day, it means that we've had a red week. So we had two green days, two, two red days up until today. So we've, we've had a, a third red day, uh, not only a third red day on the week, but a third red day on the month. Uh, and that's taken us red um, on the week. So we're still green on the month. We're still in profit on the month. We've still got two whole weeks uh, and, and a little bit besides. So we've still got uh, another 11 days uh, to A, first and foremost, recover the drawdown, and B, get to goal. Uh, we're a little way off goal. A little way off goal. We're quite a sizable way off goal at the moment. Uh, but we've got to remain positive. So let's let's talk about uh, shift pixie, shall we? So this this moved up just after ten a.m. It had, it had to move up uh, first thing, but then it kind of started consolidating as it moved up at, at ten a.m. We got this this halt up here, which is where I, I noticed it, and and then as it started to make a move up, I got in, uh, added to the position on the on the move up, for, and then it started to pull back. It was just. The spreads were hu humongous. Uh, at, at one stage, as I say, uh, the spreads were a dollar fifty uh, between the bid and the ask. So it's something that said that, I mean we were in profit at one stage, but then the, 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 as we as we moved up, I was looking for the for the bid to catch up for the ask and, and just the spreads to narrow, uh, and I just held on to it too long. So as it as it pulled back down, exited the position. Uh, and then I tried again a little bit later. So as we got this move up here, uh, and then it, it, it pulled back down here and, and kind of broke the VWAP. Uh, so exited position again and lost eight. Well, I actually lost uh, a little bit more than eighteen thousand um, dollars on that uh, on that roll on that particular stock. So it kind of was like that all day. It was uh, was was shift picked after that. It was didn't really do anything. Moved up heavily and, and then uh, then sold off for the rest of the day. So that that was pretty much um, uh, pretty much the big loser for the day. We did get some gains back. We we're over tw we we're twenty one thousand dollars down uh, at one stage, but we did get some back on Intelligent Living. Now I'm kind of kicking myself that I took the dog for a walk at this stage because I not only could have uh, got the money back that I lost on on uh, Shift Pixie, we could have been green and, and over goal and, and sizably over goal if uh, if I just stuck around and, and, and traded this after the first halt. So this moved up. It was it was just consolidating under the view uh, under the red green line around the VWAP as it moved up as it moved into the first hold. If I paid attention and got in here, let's say I got in at seven fifty, uh, it then moved up to uh, high twelve dollars. So if I just taken five thousand shares at seven fifty, ten thousand shares at seven fifty, and um, would have made fifty fifty thousand dollars on that, but uh, uh, or forty thousand dollars on that. But uh, I took the dog for a walk, so I completely missed this move up and to, to my detriment so we did make nearly three thousand dollars on intelligent living group but we could have made thirty thousand dollars so I'm, I'm kind of formoing a little bit around this because of the, this this huge volatile move up uh but we got in uh when it started to make a move back up here and um when uh, when intelligent living made this move up that's where we got uh where we got the majority of our gains um 
kicking myself a little bit. We started off, uh, we started off well. Then occasionally, do you know what? Y you can you can go for a yolo play if you, as long as you understand the risks. If it pays off, it sometimes pays off big. Uh, and, and I did that with HKD a couple of months ago, uh, which is AMTD Digital. And I, I knew it was a YOLO play with HKD. I, I went in there with a thousand shares, and I think I made um, like fifteen thousand dollars on the move up or something along those lines. Uh, but it could I could have quite easily lost as much as well because the, when you're going with these low volume stocks, it's outside of the strategy. Uh, low volume stocks, you know, high volatility, big spreads, high risk, but there's potentially high rewards. So you can't really berate yourself too much when it goes against you and, and you get the uh, the risk actually comes to fruition and, and you get big loss because you're going in there with a big, big swing, hoping for high reward and, and it, it doesn't always go in your favor. So that's what I would say about that. It kind of wipes out a lot of uh, a lot of the gains uh, that that we've uh, that we've we've had. Now, where does that put us? Um, if we look at uh, trade now, this trade view's got a, a, an update overnight, so I'm not particularly enamoured with them um, with this. I'm not updated yet, so eighteen thousand down in terms of the the, the growth profit. Uh, so we're still over twenty thousand dollars in uh, to the good uh, as it stands right now. Twenty thousand dollars a month is good by anyone's stretch of the imagination. That's more than I used to earn in my vice president role when I used to, to have my regional vice president role. So 20, 20, by the time the commissions and charges come into it, so we're $25,000 down on the month. Means we've got to go again. We've got 11, 11 trading days left. We've got eighty thousand dollars to make in, in that time. So realistically, we need to be having six or seven thousand dollars per day on average over the next uh, 11 days to get to monthly goal so a little bit down on, on on the month in terms of against goal we're in profit gotta look at it from the big picture uh so where does that put us on the year okay so the year nine seven eight we need to be over a million dollars gross that leaves us still with uh, 20, 20k to, um, to, to, to hit before today. That makes it 40k to hit. So 40k uh, to, to get us to, uh, to, to goal on the year. I, I think we could do that in 11 trading days. Will we get to goal on the month? That's a stretch. Will we get to goal on the year? Yes. It be, means that we've got, it leaves very little room for, for error in. in November and December, if, if that's going to be the case, I wouldn't say with, with all is all is lost or, or getting too despondent. It's not the worst red day I've had this year. It's not the worst red day I've had in my career, and, and, and I've always come back from it. So, eighteen thousand uh, as a, as a, uh, a lost day. It's a big red day, to be fair, but it's nothing we can't recover from. So it just takes a little while to, to recover the drawdown, and we go again on Monday. So Monday's a, a new day. 90 minutes before the market opens, I'll be streaming my trades live. And of course, the first full hour of the uh, of the regular regular session. So come join me on Monday. And uh, in the meantime, have a good weekend. Uh, relax, recuperate, and we do it all again next week. I uh, hope to see you there. Take care.